We're here. You're, you're Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Hi, my name is Julie and I'm a university student from California who loves adventure. I'm currently traveling through Iraq by myself. I'm inviting you to come with me. Iraq is a Middle Eastern country known as the Cradle of Civilization. Over thousands of years, this is a place where empires have risen and fallen, and a country that today more than 40 million people call home. Most modern discussion about Iraq is colored by decades of war, but that's not what my videos are about. I want to celebrate all of the wonderful and unique parts of this country. In these next 12 episodes, we'll explore the country's rich history, diverse nature, magnificent architecture, delightful dances, spectacular music, and delectable cuisine. You'll be amazed at the warmth and hospitality of the people I meet. Let's get started. We're in the capital Baghdad, but in today's video, I unexpectedly take a journey to Basra. Basra played an important role in early Islamic history and notably was a cultural center full of esteemed scholars and musicians. Good afternoon from Baghdad, Iraq. I've decided to take myself out to dinner and watch a show tonight. I put my makeup on, get dressed, and then head over to Princess Palace, a restaurant down the street. I'm super excited about tonight's show. It is an ode concert. The ode is a relative of the guitar. I love music, I love concerts. I think it'll be wonderful. Asalaamu Alaikum. I just made it to the Rashid Theater where I'm gonna go inside and buy a ticket for the show that starts in about seven minutes. The ode is known as the King of Instruments and is an essential component of the Middle Eastern music tradition. Here's the scoop. The good news of today is that I made it to the concert on time. The bad news is that it's sold out, so I have to come up with a plan B for what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm definitely a little disappointed, but this is the price to pay for my general lack of planning. I will say, and I'm saying this on camera, on the record, I vow to have some type of ode-related experience while in Iraq. Stay tuned. My amended plan for the evening is to go to the Sinbad Amusement Park because I've been told that there's a Ferris wheel there. I love Ferris wheels. Normally I prefer them in post-Soviet countries, but I don't mind them in the Middle East either. The theme park Sinbadland is named after Sinbad the Sailor, a character from a series of ancient Middle Eastern stories who went on fantastic and magical adventures while sailing through the African and South Asian seas. I'm here at the Ferris wheel. I'm gonna go enjoy. The next time I see you, it better be because I'm having some ode-related experience. Good night. Hello from Baghdad, Iraq. I was catching up with one of my friends earlier today who mentioned that they have a friend in Basra who not only plays the oud, but has a family member who makes them. So with that information, I'm off to the Baghdad Central Station where I'm optimistic that I can catch the Monday night train from Baghdad to Basra. The train leaves in 40 minutes. I did not pre-purchase a ticket, so I'm really optimistic that I can still hop on the train today. Ticket acquired, it only cost me 25,000 dinar for a sleeper car. Let's get rolling. The Baghdad to Basra rail line was reopened in 2014 and is roughly 650 kilometers long. The overnight train leaves the capital at 7 p.m. and arrives in the south of the country at 4.30 a.m. Honestly, when I tell most of my friends that I'm in Iraq, they tell me that they're afraid for me. Most of the media that they've been exposed to has been about war or terror 
Not one of my friends from home has ever mentioned anything about Iraqi music, which is why I'm on a nine hour train in the middle of the night to get to Basra to hopefully tell you more about the ode. So the next time somebody mentions Iraq to you or to them, perhaps they'll say, oh, you know, have you heard of the ode? We're a few hours into the train ride and I am thirsty and have decided to get to my favorite beverage. I am in the cafe, currently drinking orange juice. I love orange juice. Now that I'm hydrated, it's bedtime. I'm planning on meeting Hussein, my mutual friend who plays the Ode, later today, but there is a gap from when he's available and when I arrived to Basra and the wonderful woman that I met in my train cabin named Amira has welcomed me to stay in her home with her until he's ready. Perhaps some of you are wondering if it was safe for me to stay with Amira's family. My response to that is this. I have traveled extensively around the world and have developed a keen sense for assessing people and their motives. During my entire journey through the country, I had the pleasure of staying with dozens of families, all of whom exemplified the unparalleled hospitality that Iraqis are known for. Here's the rundown. I made it to Amir's. I have a couch. I switched into my bunny pajama pants, and I'm gonna go back to bed. See you on the other side. I hop in the car and I'm off to meet my new friend Hussein. Hi Julie, how are you? Welcome to Basra. Today I will gonna show you how to play Oud. Hussein, you just met me, you don't know me. Why are you being so welcoming towards me? So you can say uh, this is from our tradition in Iraq. So we we are welcome from anyone, from any country, okay, to show the people uh, we are a warm country, especially Basra. It's lunchtime, so that means that we are going to the local fish market. Although this video is about the Ode, I've decided to take a quick detour and bring you along as I purchase and eat lunch. Basra is known for its cuisine. Specifically, it's meskouf. Meskouf is Iraq's national dish. This is a special type of grilled and seasoned carp. I've heard that the best meskouf in all of Iraq comes from the south, which is where we are now. Let's choose a fish. We've made it to the Basra fish market. We're looking at lunch. We have a bunch of meskouf right here. And I think we're gonna pick this one to eat. He's from the marshes, so I think we're gonna name him Marshall. <laughs> okay, okay. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is lunch. <laughs> After caressing my scaly creature Marshall for a few seconds, he was put on the scale, chopped up, and put into an ominous black plastic bag. We then paid for him and went on our merry way. We exit the market and make our way to a nearby restaurant where we cook up our fish. So, right here is our new friend. Um, I think I need to stop referring to our fish as our friends. Behind me is where the Tigris and the Euphrates meet here in Basra, Iraq. And here is our hard-earned lunch, meskouf. We eat our fish friend, grab a cup of chai, and head out to a confectionery where I ask my friend Hussein a little bit more about the ode. How do you feel when you play the ode? So, it's, uh, you know, I, it's like my baby. When I play uh, ode, I feel comfortable. I fall uh, something I above the sky. <laughs> Who inspired you to play music? Ah, my father, because uh, I saw the 
picture for him when he was 25 years old. Uh, he always bring the guitar with him, okay? Uh, so I said I want to return my father's story with another to uh, with another uh, kind of music, not guitar, but oud. I am in the car with Hussein, and guess where we're off to? His father's cousin's house, also known as Basra's finest oud maker. I'm excited. We're here. You're Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Asmi Julie. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. 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 Abdul Amir, an ode maker of more than 45 years, is showing me around his workshop. The crafting of the ode is a time-consuming and delicate process. The craftsmanship of a single instrument can take up to a month to complete. Each ode has its own shape and character, which means that no two sound exactly the same. I have been all over the world, and something that every single country has in common is a love for music. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>